terminating. Good afternoon, Acadiana. Great to see you here on this Wednesday. We are getting a bit of a break from the heavier showers and storms we were experiencing across much of Acadiana earlier this morning. So just some scattered light to moderate showers, I think, this afternoon. As we get back to the evening hours, we're not out of the woods just yet. Another round of some heavier scattered storms expected this evening through tonight and tomorrow morning. So the flash flooding threat is still rather high, but in the next three to five hours, I think our flash flooding uh, risk are on the low. Side. We'll talk about that at the top of the show. Your news starts now. Live from Acadiana, your local news leader. This is KLFY News 10 at noon. Good afternoon and thank you for joining us for News 10 at noon. I'm Sylvia Masters. We begin today with information on the flash flooding that has taken place across Acadiana. For more on what's to come, we go to Storm Team 10 meteorologist Chris Kozart. Chris, what's the latest? Well, we're getting some improvement this afternoon. A lot of the rainfall has broken apart. The intensity has really come down where we are still getting some showers across Acadiana, but we're still not completely done with this flood event just yet. The flood watch is still in place for all of Acadiana. This actually goes all the way until noon tomorrow. I expect another band of some intense rains to start to really develop this evening, possibly tonight, and another one, last one, for tomorrow morning. Here's a check on Storm Team 10 radar. Most of the heavier rains now are east of us across Baton Rouge and going over towards uh, Lake Pontchartrain. Uh, there are still some flash flood warnings still in effect, but the rain has pretty much stopped over those areas. They have canceled the other ones, but the really the highest rainfall to totals we've seen so far from this event have been across this area. Northern St. Landry Parish Palmetto actually had a recording of eight inches of rainfall, and there are still some flash flooding reports coming in and around Bill Platt, Opelousas, Washington area. Earlier this morning, numerous roads were closed up across the Opelousas in the Washington area. Nice big break back to our west and we're not seeing any bands extending out into the Gulf just yet. But again, I expect the atmosphere to recharge per se. So as we go through the rest of the afternoon, possibly some scattered showers and storms there uh, firing up a little bit more later in the afternoon around the 4 to 5 p.m. Uh, hour. But as we get closer to dinner time and beyond, here comes another band of some intense rains. This could again lead to some flash flooding. Then we get another break before another band comes comes in for tomorrow morning. So I wouldn't be surprised if we have some flash flooding issues for Thursday morning, and that should be it as most of the rainfall then will be east of us by tomorrow afternoon. Things will settle down. There is still that low end severe threat as well. Level one to level two risk to see some damaging winds and tornadoes, but everything has really been pretty tame in that department. It's been the flash flooding risk that continues to be rather high and will remain that way until the first half of the day tomorrow. We'll have another check on your forecast here in 